so hey guys are you scoring less in the mock tests and also you are getting stagnant at a mock test number like you're giving mock test and you're always getting 180 out of 300 is this your problem then i am here and nothing to fear Okay, okay, okay. So it was just a joke. I'm Rishav Raj and I'm a second year student at Pits Villani and uh, it was uh, a way to get you, you know, into the action. Okay, so this is it. Uh, most of the people, including me, when I was giving my mock, mock test paper, you know, there was a certain number. I think most of the people had this problem. What happens is that when I was giving JEED main mock test and I was like, hell lot of worried because of this problem because I always ended up getting 180 plus minus 10 20 this was my score I I gave a mock test even if it's easy I would score 190 even if it's difficult I'll score 170 and that is what happened with me a lot of papers I gave all that uh, NT Abhyas paper I, I gave uh, Jaimin PYQs I always ended up getting that and it was very very you know very very depressing very very sad why did this this happen and every time it ended i used to analyze my paper i would see the same mistakes i would always do those silly mistakes that would uh, uh, reduce my score by 30 30 and other than that those 70 80 marks 90 marks i i didn't know so i again started uh, covering more and more syllabus this is what happened i always saw okay i don't know this thing i'll, I'll read it I'll, I'll again watch the an academy lecture i'll watch uh, anything whatever is available with me i would watch physics wala uh, for the sake you know i said once i said an academy i i also said physics wala so that you don't say that hey man you you are an academy fan i just said it okay yeah i i did all these things still I kept on getting 180 190 180 190 and this kept on continuing and at the end even my J main score was that I, I got even less than that I, I think I got 160 something like that and uh, so this was what happened with me but later on after J main I felt like I have uh, messed up both my two J mains and there is certainly some problem which I'm not able to identify so the thing is there are two three things why you are not able to increase your score in mock test the first thing which i feel is that every time you give a mock test you see that okay i have not covered all these topics and you start covering them them but again there will be some topics which you have not covered the important thing is that whichever chapter you have covered you should know everything about it you should revise it again and again unless it's a very easy topic which you have found out like oh man every time polymers questions come and i don't know that is why i'm not able to score a lot but those are of those are of only three to six marks okay it's not that that will dent your score a lot or that is making your score stagnant the thing is you are doing one mistake every time like uh, you are always doing calculation mistakes doing 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 again and again maybe you are not looking upon that maybe you think that okay it does not matter right now i'm not serious while giving the mock test that's why i'm making calculation mistakes once i'll give that exam paper at the right time i'll be 100 percent full of confidence and i'll do it the best way but it does not happen the thing is that how you give the mock test is the same how you you know give the real exam paper even more you have more pressure during that exam paper so you are uh, prone to make more mistakes this is one of the things so i feel it's very important that you give your mock test in the right environment in the right kind of uh, you know way is that you don't look into any formulas you don't look to anything because uh, it's not going to be an open book exam for sure you'll be giving in front of a uh, computer so give it as it is given okay give it as uh, you will give it in the exam day always give mock, mock test like that uh, try to avoid silly mistakes a lot they will they will they will happen but if you make silly mistakes of 40 marks try to make it 30 20 10 and that is how your score will, score will increase it's not you will cover more and more chapters and you will the, the paper is made in such a way that 200 marks for those who have prepared decent 250 marks for those who have prepared great and 50 marks questions every time will be uh, something which every time you will get new every time something new will happen you don't have to focus on that 50 marks oh man i have not covered that 50, 50 marks that's why i'm getting 180 no you are getting 180 because you have not covered those 70 marks 
because you are making silly mistakes because you are making mistakes in those chapters which you which you know that should not happen okay so this is what i'm saying increase your efficiency uh, don't go of uh, increasing your syllabus grasping power especially at this time when uh, you cannot a lot cover syllabus so yeah this is the time when you have to uh, minimize your silly mistakes and uh, minimize whatever the problems happening maybe you are uh, getting more pressurized in the exams or you don't have a uh, good exam strategy how you should solve them how you should do them uh, always while you are sitting in the examination paper even while mock test make this your habit that you tell yourself again and again that I'm not going to make any calculation mistake. This I used to do every time I gave a test. Whatever I used to do is that I used to write these three or four things. What my examination strategy is, I will go from easy, medium, hard, which I've also told in my video, how I scored 300 plus, I would say you watch it. And this is first of all things. And then the next thing I would say myself is that I'll, I'll read the question properly. I did the mistake again and again. I, I used to make these mistakes like if the question is, you know, tick the not correct option and I'll correct the correct option. So this always used to happen and these type of mistakes happen when you don't read the examination. You just guess. What happens with us is that we look into the question, we read two words and uh, because we have solved a lot of questions, we know this question is this and when solve and gone. But it's not that. You have to read the paper. That is what they want to see. Are you reading the question paper or not? So that is very, very important that you read the question that has uh, like, okay, this is the question. I have read it and I'll solve it. So this is a very important thing I feel. And these two, three things I used to tell me every time, uh, tell myself every time. Every time I used to look into my calculations also. What happens is that because uh, while giving a test, you are like 10 plus 15, 25, 25 into 3, 75 and 75 into 4, 300. <laughs> but yeah, 75 into 4, 325. You said like this and uh, while in exam 325 into 5, you are doing those calculations and you forgot that you have made mistake 75 into 4 should be 300. So this is the thing. So look into your calculations every step while solving. It's not that once you have made the found the final answer then you are going back and checking where I've made the mistake or I am right or not that's very time consuming so while calculating keep on checking okay huh, this is right this is right this is right uh, this is the thing I feel uh, you should do to get uh, more marks in the mock tests and yeah uh, I hope you have uh, I hope you like the video and it uh, gives some benefit to you as well as I would say share it uh, uh, with your friends so that they can also benefit you can reach out to me on uh, Rishabh the creator instagram or my email id Rishabh the creator at the red gmail.com and uh, yeah i hope uh, i'll meet you in the mitspilani campus thank you for watching